other day, when I was testing out some transfer cases, I took some thermal imaging pictures of the transfer case and I was going to show you what it looked like, but unfortunately the pictures didn't come out too well <clears throat> when I was a bit disappointed with it. So this was my FLIR C3, or C2 sorry, uh, thermal imaging camera. What was going wrong with it? I think it's the internal batteries dying, it's, it's a sort of a sealedish type unit. But I don't know what was going wrong because it's supposed to take a stereo picture one as a thermal image and the other one as a black and white picture so you can compare the two and it wasn't doing that and it was doing all sorts of bizarre things if you didn't have the uh, you know the battery pack or battery power bank plugged in it wouldn't start up so I thought well this is high time I might have to get a new one um, I bought this eight years ago and this was over a thousand dollars eight years ago so obviously I'm in the market for looking for something and um, I was perusing internet and, and all these companies you know, all over the place seeing who sold thermal imaging cameras and there seems to be quite a few now and one of them was Top Don. Now, I wrote to Kyle at Top Don and I said, listen, what's your, um, what's your product like compared to a FLIR? He says, I'll send you one. And he did. And it just came this morning. Here. I haven't even opened it yet. So I thought I was over the moon with that. So because I do have, when I need a thermal imaging camera, I really do need one. So we're going to open it up and let's have a look. Now it's not going to be a really professional carry-on, but we'll see how it goes. I've got that wire in the way, but never mind. That's that's amateur amateurism. So let's have a look. Because this apparently plugs into the bottom of your smartphone now that is neat and apparently there's a version for an Android system and there's, an an, an, and there's a version for an Apple system it's called a TC View alright TC View so let's have a look and see what's that Ooh. a box in a box I think <clears throat> well, we've got an instruction sheet. Do we? Is it one of these self-explanatory things? Oh, look at that! That's easy to work out, isn't it? Look at that! It's all, uh, it's all there. So, what we've got to do is PC Android. Oh, wait a minute. Let's have a look at this. I think we need to go to. Google Play and download an app for it. Well, that seems easy enough, but first of all, I bet you're all dying to see what's in here. My God, it's small. It's a beautiful little piece of kit. Wow. What a tiny little thing. There you go. Now, that's, that's portable. Apparently, it uses the battery in your smartphone to power it up and that saves a lot of weight. What have we got in here? We've got also a USB cable. What's in there? Well that's neat. It's an adapter. I've never seen one of those before between the USB-C and the standard USB. So, uh, and a female USB. And a little cleaning cloth. Now, I might have to pause this video just here and download this app and see how it works. Right, it, that was a quick install. It didn't take very long at all. So uh, we've, got, uh, we've got the app on my phone. We've got thermal imaging, temperature monitoring, gallery, personal information. Oh, we don't need to know anything about that. So I guess we'd better just plug it in. And we'll go straight to thermal imaging. Oh, oh. choose an app for this USB device. That's TC001. Uh, always. Is it working? Thermal imaging. The current mobile device cannot be connected. Try update software version. 
What's that mean? Develop to f 14 series. Download, connect, hassle free, quick start. Download for Android. Oh, this is complicated. Requires Android 8. What's that saying there? Specially designed for Android 10. Well, I'll have, now I'll have to pause again to find out which version I've got, otherwise I'm going to be here all day. Well, it appears I've got Android 10. File might be harmful. Ooh. Well, I download it anyway. It's enough junk on the internet as it is, isn't there? So there we are, we're downloading away. Um, I think we'll just pause again and we'll see what, what happens when we come back. Right, so I installed the app, it was really quick. And what's it doing now? If the current time is wrong, please enter the time. Oh, God, what do we want to do with that? So, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see this. See, that's me. There, look, that's my hand there. Now, I'm <laughs> going to play around with this a little bit and see how you take pictures. Back in a tick. Well, I'll tell you something, I'm impressed. It's got lots of features on here, but if you look at here, you can see me here. look like a clown. You can see my nose is cold <laughs> because I've got no heating off. I've turned the heating off now. But you can see uh, in the crosshairs in the middle, it's looking at my back door, and you can see how cold it is. But you should also be able to see a, a temperature reading of the hot, hottest part and of the coldest part too. That's a really neat piece of kit. So many more features, I and mean, like I say, in eight years things have moved on tremendously. Now, I was playing around with this, and uh, this will take film as well, movies, which is brilliant. So you can see things when they're moving. That that was wasn't available on my old system. Um, so it'll take stills, it'll take films, and, and things like that, which is really really good, uh, and also. There's a lot you can play around with on the settings. Now, the flea was good, but it was sort of fixed. Um, you can change, I think you can change the colours, can't you? Oh, there, there. You can have an image in image, so you can see actually what you're looking at. Because sometimes looking at thermal pictures is kind of confusing. Um, contrast, DIY, rotate. Details, oh dear me, what we're getting into there. Um, camera, yeah, you see there we've got options for a camera and uh, for, for taking video. I thought that's a great piece of kit. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we can change, we can change the little dots, you know, for a dot or a line or a full image. What's full image do? I don't know. Plane. Oh, I think it just locks it. We'll go for back to a dot. Um, can change the colours, whatever you want to look at, what, whatever you're happier with. Again, something you couldn't do with the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pictures this afternoon and put them at the end of this video so you can see what's happening. But I just did a little experiment by heating up a piece of tube and I'm going to take a picture of it and then you should see a full range of colours. So we'll heat it up to red. And we'll see what it'll take a picture of. Alright, see you later. So back again, just a quickie. I downloaded all the software for this, um, everything for the PC. And I took this upstairs with a cable, and that's why it's got a double end on. And uh, thought the pictures were in here. Wrong. <laughs> the pictures, this you can so the, what I'm trying to say is if you want to use this on a laptop, you can use it on a laptop rather than using it on your on your phone. So I was looking all over for the pictures, and there they are. They're in they're stored in your telephone. This is even better because. Now, if you want to send these by email or, you know, pictures to anybody you want, 
uh, you can instantly send them. How, how easy is this? Now I think the price of this was about two, oh wait a minute, not the price of that, the price of this was about 360 odd dollars but it's still a third of the price that I paid for this one. It's practical, you can carry it around with you. Uh, it's a pretty tough little cookie. But like I said, it, it's very versatile knowing that you can plug it into your laptop because then you can get a bigger screen. Well, I wonder if I should try that. Back in a tick. Right, back again. So I've got my um, trusty old uh, tough book here. And yes, indeed, you can clip this in. There's me. I think it's me anyway. Yeah, there you go. So you can clip it in to your PC. Now, at the moment, I'm not sure if you can take direct pictures, but you can also, if you want to use um, print screen, you can print a picture out and, and there you go. So you're, you, it's, it's quite versatile. And another thing I was just thinking about with this thing here, because you can take, well, we'll just disconnect it for a minute. Because it can capture movies or film or whatever you want to call it, when we're looking at engines, we can set this up and watch the heat progressively travel through an engine. So if you've got a problem with a bad injector or a bad cylinder not firing properly, instead of just taking individual pictures, now we can set this up and watch it. And that's even better. Then you can send that to your customer and say, look, there's a bit of a problem with this number three cylinder, I think the head gasket's going. And we can see what's happening by taking a small film. Excellent. Very, very impressed. Yeah, very impressed. And the quality of these is really good. It's really nice. All top done stuff is really nicely made, I have to admit. So we'll see you later. I'll put a description below.